There are a few different ways to copy or clone an array. Let's look at some. Here we start with this original array, true, true, undefined, false, null. These are all items in the array. So the, a common way to copy arrays is with the slice method. Now the slice method is usually used to break apart an array into two different parts, but we can also use it to copy an entire array. Just that will copy the entire array. And you can also use the spread operator to copy an array. And that just copied the array again. These three dots are the spread operator, and that just spreads out this original array into wherever we're putting it. So it's going to spread out the original array into the new array. Let's do a test here to see if that worked. And you can see, there's I just logged, it's going to log the copy one, and it's going to log copy two. And both of them are the same as the original copy. Now, this does not always work if you have an array or an object within your array. Uh, whenever you have an array or an object in your array, you need to do deep copying. Let me show you an example. Now, in this array, there's an array within the array. So, you can see there's the two sets of brackets. Each array only has one item. So, in one array, there's the item free code camp. In the other array is the ar array that has the item free code camp. So, if we just try the normal method of copying, if we just use slice here, now we're going to actually try to modify that shallow copy. we went to the array at index 0, which is the first array. So I'm trying to push something onto that first array within the array. I'm trying to push is great. So let's console.log that and see what happens. Huh. Well, look at this. I log the deep array and I log the shallow copy array. And so the deep array is free code camp. The shallow copy should actually uh, be a completely other array because we've copied it into a shallow copy. And then we're just going to push is great to the shallow copy. Just so you know, we are just logging the index zero. So we're, we're not trying to log the whole array. We're just trying to log the array within the array. That's why we put index zero here. But after adding is great, it's actually, if you see this up here, it's adding is great to the deep array and the shallow copy. You can see that it's both of them are the same now. The reason for that is because anytime you have an array within an array in JavaScript, or if you have an object within an array in JavaScript, in the original array is just a pointer to an array or a pointer to an object inside that original array. So when we are doing a copy of the array, we're just copying the pointers to this original array. So when we push is great, we're not pushing is great to the shell copy directly, we're pushing is great to the pointer to the other array. And since both of them are pointing to the same second array, it's going to add the is great to, to basically both copies, the deep array and the shallow copy. If you have an array that has other arrays or other objects within the array, you really need to do a deep copy if you want to make sure everything is copied as you would expect. So let me show you how to do that. Some people have fancy for loops and, uh, and a lot of code to do it, but there is actually a trick. It's a secret way that makes it a lot easier. Let me show you that. So this is it. Um, so basically we're going to pass in this deep array to the json.stringify method. And this is going to create a string of the whole array, including arrays within the array and objects within the array. And then we're going to call the json.parse method, which is going to convert this string back into a JavaScript object or a JavaScript array. And then we're going to assign the whole thing to that deep copy variable. 
let's try what we did before. I'm just going to copy this code up here. We're going to change shallow copy to deep copy. We're going to push is great. We're going to console.log deep array and deep copy. And just to make this cl more clear, I'm going to take this out and take this out. And now let's run that. Okay, now it behaves how you would expect it to behave in a copy. So we're going to console.log the array within the deep array and then the array within the deep copy. And the first one's going to be free code camp. And then because we push the is great, the second one is going to be free code camp is great. Well, that was a few ways to copy arrays. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.